Well, we're a tad foggy this morning. We got down to uh, zero last night. So, yeah, I guess uh, the cold weather is, oh, you almost see my breath. The cold weather is coming and nothing we can do about it, so. We had some minor breakdowns yesterday. We, uh, on the deep tiller, we had some, uh, we have some welding that needs to get done and a shovel fell off. So I wanna get that going so that uh, we can keep Terry deep tilling and me and Peter can keep moving bales and keep things rolling. So, so a while back, like months ago, I bought myself a, a little welder, a Miller, I don't even know how, it's an easy portable one. I got a, a little tank right behind that garbage can over there that I can use and I can grab this portable welder. I can bring it anywhere. It's a lot easier to move around because we are, we have many different yard sites and we're spread out quite a bit. So been wanting to get our ambulance hooked up so that everything was rigged in there, but we're just swamped. We just haven't, hasn't been on the top of the priority list and, and uh, there's always things going on. So um, yeah, I'm gonna actually open that up because I gotta do welding in the other yard. I have a stick welder over there, but I don't like stick welders. I like MIGs, so um, I could probably do it with a stick, but this just makes it easier for me. I learned on a stick. That's how I started welding. All right, so let's open this thing up and see what she see what she looks like. All right, so I got myself a Miller Multimatic 215. So as you can see, very easy. I can move this thing around and then I got a little tank over there, I'll hook up. So I wanna make this a little bit, like I said, more permanent in the ambulance. But for now, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna get this ringed up so I can take it over to the other yard and use it, so. Shouldn't take a whole lot. Put wire in, run my gas line. Wire goes in here, run it through here to my gun. And then my gas gets hooked up right here. I'm assuming. MIG gas, TIG gas. I want the MIG gas. Quiet little thing. There we go. I should be able to feel it in my hand when I think it's there. Wait any second now. Three, two, one. There it is, come on, there we go. All right, so I gotta put my welding tip in. And I gotta figure out how to change my, right there it says 0 0.03, and I, I have 0 0.035 wire in, so I might have to read instructions. So, here we go, let's go weld. Hey, had to do some iron changes. I realized I only had 0.03 tips. So, had to change the wire out, do a little bit of stuff. And changing 
that number was very easy. I pressed one button. So now we should be good to go. Okay, weld broke. Pipe broke all the way around. We'll weld it up. And there's a few other spots. There we go, that's much better. High as 187. pretty hot right now so this is the main one no you can hear it it's 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 going yeah, yeah. 220 it's got to be okay that one got a little one here a little over there this one here you didn't pretty <laughs> it'll do okay I welded it up it's all welded up this is this was the bad one the way I'd like to do it I would like to run gussets from here to here and across just to brace this beam but we had figured a lot of this damage has been in the last uh, two, three years of deep tilling. Uh, it's been very dry and a lot of our, um, it, which is really hard, which is really hard pulling on the cultivator. It's hard on things. So we uh, hoping this year we getting lots of moisture. Things will pull a lot easier. So yeah, doing some final touches and then Terry will get back deep tilling. Terry says he went to college to become a deep tiller. So, he's really good at it. Okay, I got my first load of the day. Just about loaded. And then I got one more stack. Hard to see, right there. That's the last load off of this field. And we got both deep tillers going. Terry is in one unit and Arch is in the other. And Daryl's busy getting uh, combines ready feels ready we had a lot of fog a lot of dew it's gonna take a bit for our canola to get dry there's no breeze as you can see the the sun is out but uh, it's gonna take a bit to get that canola dry so we can combine so we figured get the deep tillers going get the groundwork so when that load is done that means we got all so I got this load plus one more and then all of our oat straw is in the yard. So I got, I'm guessing somewhere between 550 to 600 bales. Can't remember the number, but it's in that 550 to 600 bales of wheat straw that we got to haul in yet. So we will get going on that today. See what we can hammer off. Well, we're heading out. We, uh, ran a sample and uh, it is 3.30 and it's barely dry, it's 10.0 so we could not have gone any sooner because the place in Altona, Bungie, will not take it anything over 10 so we should be good, I hope, and just what you call a really late start so We'll go out and see if, what we can get accomplished on this lovely field again today.
water. Um, there does not seem to be the wild buckwheat in the south. Okay, we are still rolling. Guys are still combining. Terry's still deep tilling. Been a good day. This is low 21. We got roughly 21 to 23 left. Something like that. I don't even know. Not getting the acres done that we were hoping, but we are getting they are getting stuff done. So it's uh, better than last week. And we're getting bales cleaned up. Well, we are coming to the end of another day. We are, uh, we have found some more soft spots where the rear wheel assist has been handy. stretch of the imagination but they're they are better than I kind of anticipated I, in my mind I kind of thought this field was somewhere close to somewhere between 10 and 15 because there is so many holes that there is nothing so anyway thank you for watching all goes well we'll get back at her again tomorrow hope you enjoy Thank you.